Hey guys, Mason from Badlands. Guess what we got? Crytac. This is a new addition to our inventory and we are really excited about it and I can't wait to share it with you. First thing you might notice about this is it comes with an orange tip. Now these are typically on the guns themselves. I have removed this one already because they are not a requirement here in Canada and most people like them taken off anyhow. So for the purposes of this video and looking awesome, I have removed the orange tip. That was a lot louder than I expected it to be. Anyhow, we also get a uh, short, this is like a two inch key mod rail here. So if you do have a foregrip you'd like to throw on there real quickly, you can, maybe a laser sight, what have you. Also, iron sights here. These don't flip up or anything, but they're easy enough to put in, adjust, and uh, remove if you don't want to use them. Comes with a high cap mag, and as I've always said, mid cap is for life. Mid cap is life, is what I've actually just said. It can be hip, like all the kids. So, on to the main event. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Crytac Trident Mark II CRB Carbine. Get in there for a good look. Enjoy that, look at that. Now that initially may not look like much, but you need to look at the potential, okay? See all these rails right here? Prime, prime real estate for a nice comfy foregrip, laser sight, whatever, video camera, whatever you'd like to put on there. Maybe you just have a little Hello Kitty doll you wanna mount on there. That's cool too, if you wanna just sort of mock people as you run by. This thing is made entirely out of metal, okay? Upper and low. It's metal, all right? Metal is the only polymer components on this that I can notice are the 45 pistol grip here, as well as the uh, crane stock back here. These are made of a uh, polymer. Everything else on this gun is metal. Charging handle, barrel tip, the selector switch, all of it. This is pure metal construction. This is probably the easiest crane stock to adjust ever. It's, it's not even complicated. It's no more complicated than any other um, stock. It's just, for whatever reason, the, Action is easy, it's smooth, you have the right amount of resistance so it doesn't flop all over the place. It's secure, it doesn't have a lot of play, and away we go. Comfy um, pistol grip on this. Again, it doesn't look like much. I looked at that and I thought that's not going to be comfortable. And then even when I first gripped it, I thought, what the? And then I thought, that's weird. Oh, that's actually really comfy. To get at your battery, all you have to do is push in on the two tabs here and here on the back of the crane stock and pop that out. Understandably, they are stiff because you don't want this just falling out. But there we go, we have that. And this is rubberized, so that's not gonna really bash anything up or wear too much on your uniform should you wear something like that. V2 style gearbox, reliably designed. Uh, reliability is key in anything um, that you're doing, any sort of uh, sports equipment, especially airsoft guns. You want reliability and this style gearbox is extremely reliable, easy to use, easy to maintain. Selector switch here for semi-auto, full auto. And away we go. The mock bolt carrier actually stays back, which is nice so you can easily access your hop up without having to hold your charging handle back. And then the release here actually lets it slow forward again. So you get that added little bit of realism. All right, sling mount right here, as well as then one here for a quick disconnect, which you can pop in, uh, and then a slot for a full size proper uh, M4 sling mount. Whatever you wanna do, this uh, gun is ready to go for any of it. And there we are. Your prayers have been answered if you pray for Crytac to come to Badlands. Now, get in the comments down below, just, just down there, and I want you to comment your favorite Crytac gun. And uh, if it's one we don't have, if you'd like us to bring it in, or if it's one we already have, I want you to get it, yeah, you, right there. Uh, I want you to tell us what you want. This is Mason from Badlands, see you out there.